What is up guys, Kelly Kevin today back with a brand new episode of Skyrim Remastered Mod Showcases on my channel. Hopefully you guys are having a super sick day back again in the beautiful White Run because why not? I love White Run. It's the first location, it's beautiful, it's massive, it's big, and it's got Dragon's Reach with the Sky Forge. What more could you want? But today, guys, we're going to be checking out another, I say another because we have covered them on the channel before, it is going to be another Deadpool armor. Now, this one is obviously on the remastered version, so I'm a little bit optimistic of what it actually looks like. So, uh, hopefully, it does look pretty damn cool. I'm very psyched about this because there's a lot of elements that we are, well, there's a lot of elements in this mod that we haven't covered in other mods, which haven't got those mods. A little bit confusing. Anyway, guys, if you want this mod, as always, it is in the description below. Make sure to go and click those buttons, head over, and uh, grab this mod because why not? Any Marvel enthusiastic or like myself would uh, would need to dabble in this and have a little look because that's the whole point in these mod showcases is to uh, show the mod off. So uh, yeah. So basically, we're here in White Run, my favourite damn damn place. I usually have a sort of a selective place in Fallout 4 as basically Sanctuary, and obviously I think this one is obviously or Skyrim is going to be obviously White Run because hey, why not? It's White Run. <laughs> so obviously, all the armor is made within this tanning rack. Same as well, if you're probably thinking, well, that's a beautiful, nice little cape or a cloak you've got there, sir. That is very nice indeed. Well, basically, this cape and this cloak is from a different mod. If you want to go and check it out, I'll leave an annotation on screen now. Should be in the top right. Go and click that. It is, uh, it's very nice. It's very good. There's a wide selection as well. Uh, I couldn't obviously make all of them due to uh, requirements. I don't know why. I nearly have nearly every requirement on the game to make those capes, but apparently not those few selected things. If you want to grab that and dabble in it, go click that video, and uh, it will showcase you in that one as well. So. Go over to your tanning rack here, make sure you go in there, it's its own particular section, you will find it guaranteed, uh, it's not very expensive to make and there's quite a few elements in there as well, don't get too confused because when I originally did this, I've done a video prior to this of this particular mod and it went absolutely foobar, so I've redone it, but some of the elements within this mod are a bit weird, you're probably thinking what the hell, and I'll explain right now, so obviously we go into here, now, start from the top here, Deadpool Apple. You're probably thinking, what the actual fudge is a Deadpool Apple? What the hell are you on about, good sir? Well, basically, armor rating is a 10 plus. So why not? What are you thinking this apple is? Yes, it's an apple on my head. Holy shit, it's an apple on my head. Can you believe that? Because I can't. That is absolutely insane. Thank you for the extra 10 armor, because why not? Obviously, this is the Deadpool Apple arrow. Now, if we click that. Oh! Deadpool can obviously shoot an apple off someone's head. It is literally in my head. Again, comical factor, very nice, but for me, it doesn't appeal for me. I literally want a nice looking Deadpool sort of sort of suit. I don't want these apples and arrows. Why? So let's look at the armor itself. Now, one critique about this armor. I do prefer the comic armor instead of the original sort of uh, light armor that it comes with and I'll explain why obviously if you don't want the apple you just want the arrow for some bizarre reason the arrow is there and if we scroll down slightly further the boots now they obviously are retextured for vanilla textures as you can tell on screen now but obviously as we equip them they are not vanilla they are different so gauntlets and head and mask you're probably thinking what aren't they surely the same things as well well let's bung on the mask I'm actually going to take off my black cloak for this, purely because I want to look at all the details and textures on this. And uh, let's take away my shield, wherever that may be. There we go. Okay, so... Probably thinking, what the hell was that? Well, that blue animation there was basically an enchant that's on the mask, and allows me to breathe underwater without drowning at any particular point. That's kind of a cool factor to have in on that. A couple of things to do with this mod. I, I, I can pick apart, but I shouldn't really. Is A... The top half of the shoulders, you can tell, just below the mask there, they kind of remind me of a jester. I mean, obviously, Deadpool's funny, haha, -ha, hilarious, but his armor shouldn't be like this. And this is where that comic thing comes in, the comic armor. I'll show you exactly what I'm on about in a minute. For me, this just doesn't work. The eyes as well, slightly off. It looks like I'm partially winking in my left eye. If we're visually looking at a straight on, it looks through the right eye. It's a little bit squinty. I'm not sure what's going on there. Again, personal preference. It might just be me. I might just be an incredibly picky bitch. Who knows? Le le leave a comment in the comment section below if I am. But 
that's just me. Um, I've covered a lot of these Deadpool mods, sort of, um, yeah, Deadpool mods just in general, and this one doesn't count the mustard until, until, a couple of things in this mod that I have to actually look into and have a little look. One, the gauntlets on this particular model are freaking sick. They're like leather, but they are covered in blood, but the tips are incredibly spiky. You know what I mean by that? If we can have a little look. You can just tell, just, just on the gloves there, I don't know if you can tell, just on the fingertips. It's like little claws, which is awesome. My favorite thing, the belt icon, amazing. But for me, there's too many satchels. It looks like something out of Fallout 4. It should just not be there until we go over to the comic one. Now, if the mod, if the mod author is watching this, I pray to you, you would win everyone over if you just did the gauntlets and the boots in the same sort of silicone onesie, whatever you want to call it, style as the Deadpool comic armor. Look at this. Look at that. That just looks freaking amazing. So much better instantly. Obviously as well slightly lighter, 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 slightly lighter than the mask itself, but that can be changed easily with a color cut tone correction. The gloves don't flow in with it. Um, if you just had these sort of same mesh and material and the same textures through the arms and just slightly come down, just rolled it over the fingers, even that would be sick. Satchels, that's fine. Maybe lose the leg ones and the belt ones. The boots don't go with it, but just generally the upper half of the comic version, the sun has gone, of this just absolutely looks sick. I'm really happy with the comic one, but not so much for the actual armor. Is that bad to say? I don't know. I really don't. But that's my personal opinion. Obviously you can change it however. And you're probably thinking, what the hell was that Deadpool head? The bio weapon. If I equipped it, probably thinking, hey, what, where the hell is it? Well, it's not on your head. You, you don't look like the bio version of Deadpool. Well, it's sitting right on my... <laughs> it's on my belt, dude. <laughs> what? Why is it there? I really don't know what this author was thinking. Apple on the head with an arrow and then a bio head. Like, what? Just no. Just make everything the comic texture throughout the whole entire thing. You would win. I would literally be praising this mod so bad. I'd rate it so high. I'd tell everyone about this mod if it was just the comic texture all over. Please, just do that. It would just look freaking amazing. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, somehow let me know by hitting that like. Leave a comment down if you are going to get this. What would you change about this mod? Am I being a picky bitch? Is it fine on its own? I really don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below. But guys, until the next one, Killer Kev here and Killer Kev out. Oh, and before I forget, guys, there's actually a few Deadpool weapons to actually add to this as well. I totally forgot. There's a Deadpool sword. If we have a little look at it as well, we pull it out. It looks freaking damn cool. The sword is probably the best thing on the whole entire mod. What the hell? Look how cool it looks. And if you've got two of these as well, they just look freaking savage. The two of those, they look massive. Let's look at the 2H as well, because I'm very interested to see what this looks like. Oh, mama. You can, go, you can go pretty fast in this as well. What's up, little child? Plow, come here. Let's have a look at what it looks like as well through this view. See what I mean? Come on now. You spend so much time making the weapons look good, let's make the armor look good.